Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to this edition of Programming Wizards. Today we're going to look at border layout, okay? Remember in the last tutorial we looked about flow layout, okay? And then uh, we said that they usually uh, added to the panel in the manner in which in the, they usually added to the layout in the manner they usually arrange the manner in which they are added. And then also as you resize the screen, they rearrange themselves. But now you can see the uh, border layout with border layout they usually uh, it consists of arranging stuff in five uh, layers okay there's the north west center east and south actually these are just uh, buttons they just uh, buttons that I've put here we can resize okay but you can see the most important thing is that you know that in the flow layout uh, it is like arranging things in the five uh, categories or five sections the south center north east and west okay so that's what we're going to look at uh, today welcome so guys uh, the very first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to create uh, a j frame so i'll just say right here create a j frame so to create j frame we say j frame then i'll call it frame equals to new j frame Okay, that's how we create our J frame object. Then uh, for the J frame, uh, we have to set its close operation. So say J frame dot set default close operation. I'll pass it to true. So that when this uh, somebody uh, clicks the not true. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We say a uh, J frame sorry j frame dot exit on close sorry so uh actually uh it's just like so, so that when somebody clicks the close button uh he shall be able to close the frame then i'll uh, set it visible uh, we set its title i mean sorry so say a uh, frame dot set title then uh, for the title, I'll just call it a uh, border layout. I'll just say a uh, border layout. I think that's nice. So uh, after creating our frame, uh, the next thing that we have to do is that we have to set the layout. Remember that is just a blank frame we've created. Now we want to uh, set the layout. So I'll just say frame dot get content pen dot get content pen dot set layout. So uh, for the layout, I'll just pass the uh, border layout object. So I'll say new border layout. That will be a enough to set for us uh, our layout so after setting the layout remember that one we've just set the we've just set the layout but we've not added components so the next thing we shall add components or views components so i'll come and say a frame dot get content pen dot add then the component that we shall be adding is just a set of buttons so I'll say new j button then uh, the first button uh, we shall give it the text property of north okay and then after giving it the text property of node, we shall also inside the add method we shall also uh, pass the uh, border border layout so I'll just say uh, border just put comma then uh, border layout dot north okay so uh, this one will shall place a, a J button 
in the north section of our simple app so let me just import this one import j button then uh, to save time i'll now just be hoping these ones so after the north uh, we shall have our west the west then uh, after the west we shall have the east after the east we shall have our south then after our south we shall have our center these are the five sections so center then uh, after adding the components remember after we've added the components we have to pack them and set them visible so I'll just say pack and set visible so I'll come here and say frame dot pack then a uh, frame dot set visible then we pass true hope everything is fine so I think that should do uh, I'll come and now run our project Okay, so uh, here it is. Let me just close this one. So you can see, uh, resizable. The buttons also get resized. Okay, our border layout. The five C north, center, east, west, and south. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please, if you have, uh, subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, uh, like this video, share it with friends and family, and please take care. See you next time.